I just got out of the shower, clearly my hair is wet. I'm gonna go ahead and just do really, really easy makeup. I just kind of like dyed. It's not cute. Um, I've already, you know, cleansed my skin and everything. I used the Rodan and Fields, the Redefine Regimen. It's the blue one. So I like how smooth it makes everything. It kind of makes pores kind of just go away. So, okay, let's get started. So for the primer today, I'm going to be using the Nivea Men Sensitive Aftershave Balm. It's got um, glycerin in it, so it's really good for making it kind of stick and not go anywhere. So let's get to it. I like to really push it in and you'll feel it get Then I'm going to go in with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer, same as the other one. It's my favorite. So one thing that I like to do is go in with a damp beauty blender to blend everything out, but because this can kind of have a mattish kind of finish, I like for really plain makeup to have like a glowy finish to it, especially, I don't know, some days more than others, but I like to go in with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter stuff, and you can kind of mix it while you're blending out your foundation, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a primer, but it makes it look really pretty, and it kind of gives you life back to make it look so flat, so here we go. All done. Now I'm gonna use the same um, foundation because it's also acts as a concealer. So now that I have all that on, I'll just put some under my sad eyes, and we'll kind of blend that out, and it'll act as our concealer. So. Even though this is really simple, I still like to set my under eyes because I have like this little, I don't know if you can even see it, right there, I have these little lines under my eyes and it's like concealer wants to like live there. So I'm going to set it, but whatever, you don't have to if you don't like to, but I like to. So, so my favorite powder at the moment for that is the Cody Airspun. I looked for this forever and I thought it wasn't around here. The Walgreens. I get the translucent extra color. Also, I've learned that if you open it upside down, your life won't suck near as bad. So, here we go. This is kind of what it looks like. Um, and I just dip my beauty blender straight up to it. So. I'm gonna use this today. It's old, but I like it for normal days as opposed to my more expensive like powders. Here we go. So I just put on a big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna powder everything and including this under eye situation. I usually just go over it and it'll kind of sweep off that um, loose powder. So. So I don't normally contour every day, I know it's usually it kind of ends up looking that way, it's just how I like my makeup, but um, I've been loving the Benefit Dallas box powders. It looks like this, and I was really confused when I, I bought it for my niece, Abby, and I was like, I don't know if it's blush or bronzer, but when she wore it, it looks like this, 
it's got like it looks like bronzer on here I know but it's got like a purple plum that's what it says on the back it says it's got like a plum tint to it and it literally says to put it on cheekbones chin anywhere so I use it kind of as both and I just put it like in this general area so it kind of acts as a blush slash bronzer and I just kind of do what I want and I just use the little um what this is these guys I am blanking but I love these I buy them often this is just oh real techniques <laughs> it's the multitask brush and I pretty much just use it for bronzer because it's got like kind of a it's kind of hard to see but this part is pinched so it's a little longer like that that's kind of what it's supposed to look like so I just like it for here but if I kind of fluff it it's really round just go down here we go okay so I'm pretty much done with my face I normally wouldn't highlight and all that crap just the regular day um, but now it's just kind of personal preference. No, I don't do my eyebrows every day because I don't really care that much. I hate doing them. Um, as far as my eyes, I'll probably just, I like to use these. Um, I like to use really bright eyeliner. I'll show you how I do it. And these are the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil. I really enjoy these. They're super, like, smooth, surprisingly, but I'll just kind of show you what I do, and then we're almost done. So it's not much, and it's not really anything anyone's like, holy crap, why do you have turquoise eyeliner on? Once I put my eyelashes on, I mean, I do not wear eyelash mascara on, you'll kind of be able to see what I'm talking about. It's real subtle, but people are still like, oh, I like that, whatever. So we just have mascara and lips, and we'll be done. I'm gonna use my Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced. It's the easiest to apply, I don't have to really try that hard, so it's my favorite. This one started to get dry, and I put literally three drops of eye drops in it, and it's like back to normal, so yay! <laughs> So this is the lip color I'm going to use. I've literally had this like for years. It's NYC and it's Brooklyn Brownstone. It's Ricky's favorite and literally had it forever. So it comes in this little chubby stick thing so it's literally the easiest thing in the world. And that's it. Now I'll go fix my hair. Oh. 